right, so here he is, the emotionless, stoic Fedor Emelianenko, and fans have wondered aloud. Would he come to the UFC? How would he fare once he got here? Those questions get answers tonight. John, you said stoic, but when you watch Emelianenko walk to the octa, all you're missing is like snow coming down and it getting real dark, and everybody's kind of walking with the big Russian hat because he just is that unknown that we have all wanted to kind of get a beat on. But what we do know is that this guy can absolutely fight. He's got tremendous wrestling, grappling, and unbelievable knockout power. Look for Fedor to try to get the side of his opponent barrier. At one point, he was 31 and 1 in MMA. Fedor Milianenko still regarded as the greatest heavyweight of all time. The last emperor, Fedor Milianenko. He has graced the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom, but how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. ready to engage yet again. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, and, oh! and now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. The veteran Herbert Dino ready, referee ready. for this one. Ready. All right, here we go, round one. And it's hard not to get a little bit starstruck when Fedor Emelianenko graces the proven ground. As for the matchup, DC, a lot of people believe these two heavyweights are as... Jab there by Emelianenko. Stay aggressive. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Alex Pereira gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Fader. Oh, how about...
about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Fedor's back in side control. Big ground and pound. In the half guard. Emelianenko's back in full mount. He needs to try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Emelianenko. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Well, he postures up again and delivers another big, takes his back. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Fader. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Nicely done. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. Look at him. He set down the choke now. Look at that. He set it up. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle is tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you gotta shove that knee, John. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Under two minutes now to go. He's gotta start throwing now. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. A million in goes back in full now. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Ezekiel choking, he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Good work from the top here by Emelianenko. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Pereira's in half goal. Under a minute now to go in round one. Gotta watch his neck. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, a good shot landed there from the bottom. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Final seconds of round one. Fatal Emelianenko's in half guard. Uh, round two straight ahead. Uh. All right, bud, take a seat. You almost knocked his ass out. Você quase knocked out in. Foi por muito perto. Okay? Então. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. Can I go in there slang and leather again, or he'll find the light shut off this time?
stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lands a jab. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Fighter blocks a punch. Missed with that right hand. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Pedeta. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting today. Oh! Pineda's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. By a man, you see. Beautiful placement on the hook. Way to turn his body into it. Make sure he kept his eyes on his opponent. Hurts him and gets back to safety. Today, his eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, effective strike there from the clinch by a man. That one appeared to stun him. Beautiful connection lands. Fighting long is the key. Back and forth, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And... It burns. Johnny burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done. Take down defenses there. Pereira gets back up. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game team. You know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the edge. Oh! That leg kick hurt. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cuts getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems to bother by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Straight right is there. That hook was bad. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, oh, saved by the go. bell. That's the end of the round, and thankfully for him, it came at the right time. He got knocked down just before the horn. We'll see if his core can keep him in the fight. Just 60 seconds with which to recover here before the next round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, 
it might be. Good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. He throws all of himself into that kick. Well, we told you to keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. continues to toss that area wiser. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. Solid punch lands for him. Oh! He's hurt bad. Pereira getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised on the yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Emelianenko gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight. These guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, man. Both of them, both inflicting damage on each other. And both are dealing with it and trying to continue in this fight. This is a great fight. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. That eye is absolutely mangled. I wouldn't be surprised to see us get a stoppage here soon. Yeah, I mean, John, you look at his face. He's been beaten up for a very long time. I could see the doctor coming into the ring, looking at the cut and saying, I've seen enough. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee call him the doctor soon. Well, at some point, you got to take a look at it. He's so bruised, he's so battered, he's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on that. He's dominant. Nate is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. and he lands. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Padilla. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Strong reversal there. going full mount. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Pedro Emelianenko's in half guard.
Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Oh, right in the mount. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise the crowd was talking about. This crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. All right, so that is that round in the books. Emelianenko's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path Ready. in order to make the cut worse. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Fedor is an absolute mess. Referee might have caught an eye of the ringside position right there. They might stop this fight. Uh, that was a nice fight. Oh! And back to his feet. Massive left hand. Just out of range with that left hook. for that left hand, not there. Emelianenko's doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. But Ada's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll... Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Straight right hand now, just misses. Fedor gets the takedown. Nice shot there by the champ. Nice. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Using a lot of good movement. Pedro Emelianenko swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. But Aiden's really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Lands with the ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, here now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 58 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, 
and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world is on. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ. 